Hey everyone, just back with another uh, Orconfig v6 core video uh, in our little series here. So we've so the first two videos we did a video on the setup and installation of Orconfig v6 core on Rocky 9, uh, which could apply to CentOS and Red Hat. Uh, this time, just because we want to see it and experience it, we're going to do a quick setup video on Ubuntu, um, and we'll do a follow up. Up, uh, update video as well also in Ubuntu. So we're going to go through this one a little bit quicker than the um, Rocky video uh, just because we covered a lot of kind of um, of the theory stuff in, 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 in the Rocky video. So here I have um, the rconfig github page with the installation instructions and the steps are almost identical just some command differences for Ubuntu but again it's just worth going through it just from the point of view of how it looks and feels setting it up in Ubuntu. So we have an Ubuntu uh, VM up and running, brand new uh, VM, uh, vanilla installation. It's Ubuntu 22.04 on uh, Linode. And so again, I'm going to do a side by side so we can see the scripts running as well as copying those across from, uh, from the documentation. Okay, so let's do our side by side. So here I am logged in. We'll have a quick look at the OS uh, LSB release and we've got Ubuntu 22.04 code name jammy perfect all right so the first thing to do we go to our orconfig os setup docs go down to the ubuntu section uh, grab the script and paste that in okay now i should say and i probably should have said it for the rocky setup as well do this as root you must do this as root it's documented read the documents uh, please do this as root so sudo to root and go ahead and start your installation um so similar to Rocky, it's going to do our operating system update and upgrade. Uh, so that usually takes a moment or two. Let's see how long this will take us here. OK, so coming back just after the update. And it's running the, uh, sorry, previously it was the upgrade. Right now it's running the, the update. All right, just pause the video. Uh, after the updates completed. Okay, back after the update is done, we're just installing PHP, PHP 8.2, I believe uh, it's happening so quickly, it's kind of hard to see it, but let's just bear with it for a moment. Yeah, 8.2, we can see it right there on the screen. And so it's installing the LAMP stack right now. And so what else have we got? Uh, setting up the firewall rules, downloading Composer, installing Composer, uh, which is important, an important PHP uh, package manager, uh, PHP 8. Okay, so so we're practically done. All right, so that that was really quick. Apache 2.4.52 for Ubuntu, uh, MySQL, uh, sorry, Maria 10.6.12, a little bit different from Rocky, but you know we use we use different repos which present different versions depending on the OS you use, depending on the repository you use. We can use the defaults for Ubuntu and Rocky. So they'll, they'll present different versions. And it's fine. We're tested on all of these versions. Uh, Redis 6 Supervisor 4.1. So the same as the Rocky one. I'm going to stop saying that, right? The same as the Rocky one. Um, so enter current password for root uh, for MariaDB setup. That will be blank. Hit enter. Do we wish to switch to Unix socket authentication? Yes is fine, just hit enter uh, and change the root password. Yes, please hit enter. Enter you use your root password. I made a mistake, I'm gonna do this again. I'm gonna use the not so secure password. Okay. Perfect. And just enter for all of the rest of the questions. And that's it. We are, our operating system is set up. Okay, so with our operating system set up, we'll go back to our documents. I'm going to clear the screen here. And so we have our OS set up. That's this main step. And now we're going to go ahead and set up the database. Okay, log in. Create the database. Okay, create a user. This is important for Ubuntu specifically. Less important for Rocky. You can use the root account in Rocky, but 
I'd always advise against it. And we're just, you can see the credentials here are generic, right? Obviously you're gonna use far more secure uh, credentials. Um, okay, so that's the database set up. The next thing to do is log into the re, log into the correct, sorry, change the correct folder and clone the repository, okay? Clone the GitHub v6 core repo into that folder. If I do an ls, we have the rconfig directory, cd into rconfig. And then again, copy the uh, example environment variable file to the correct name and edit that for environment variable file, .env. Okay, so change your app URL to the FQDN of your server. If you don't have an FQDN, I recommend you set up an FQDN. Change your DB host to local host, unless of course you're using a remote database, which of course you are absolutely entitled to do, uh, and set your credentials, user one and password one password one. Yep. And that's all you need to change. Okay. So that's fine. Uh, next thing to do is install the composer uh, and PHP packages. That takes a moment, depending on the speed of your internet connection. That's done. Clear that. And the next thing is set up Apache. That is already done. You will get this error if you don't have an FQDN set up, and we will be setting one up shortly. Uh, or at least I'll show you where you should set it up when you have your FQDN. Uh, install supervisor. Now, we ha I have noticed this error come up from time to time um, for supervisor. And if you type out supervisor CTL status, you should see the horizon worker running for supervisor. If you don't, there's an issue, login issue on the GitHub issues page. If you do see it, no need to concern yourself, okay? Uh, so moving on, uh, we're gonna do the PHP artisan install, and that should only take a moment. Generates the encryption keys, does the database migration, installs the OAuth keys, and does a clear all. And then the question you will be asked is, do you want to add a cron entry for task scheduling? And the answer is yes, you do. And your cron entry should be added. You can verify this by typing in cron tab minus L and you should see this, okay? So let's clear the screen once more. And the final steps are editing in, sorry, editing the Apache configuration file. Now for Ubuntu, it's this one here, the, the, this one up here is for CentOS and RHEL derivatives, and setting your server name. So if I just review this file, uh, what's the issue here? Apache2 sites enabled. Yeah, there it is. I need to update my documents. I will do that. Uh, and update your server name, okay, to your FQDN. Uh, restart Apache 2 um, for Ubuntu, and then run the clear and reset permissions commands. Perfect. Now, once this is done, we should be able to log in with our credentials. Let me grab the server IP address. Let me just restart Apache first. Perfect, okay, we just needed to restart Apache. Admin, fdomain.com, admin. And that's it, we are logged in. Now, let's just do a couple of, couple of quick checks here. So we have Ubuntu, we check our OS version, our server name, that's all fine. Our uh, software versions, Let's check, I always wanna check the queue manager, make sure it's running. Now, on Ubuntu, Ubuntu is more strict with its permissions. And you can see here, I got a HTTP 500 error. Okay, so I just paused the video for a quick trouble, a quick private troubleshooting session. And it turns out, I'm sure many of you saw it, I copied this one instead of this one. So my permissions were incorrect, all right? so. 
you can see the difference, right? It's the Apache user on CentOS and RHEL, and it's the www data user on Ubuntu operating systems. So simply when I pasted this in, okay, which sets my permissions for these two directories, and if I refresh my page, and I can, let me just go full screen, Q Manager, and it opens correctly, okay? So if you get that 500 error, it's kind of always useful just to do a quick reset of the permissions on your disk and, and you're good. So I think they're the main things. Uh, again, per the previous video, if you have any issues, uh, go into github.com slash orconfig slash orconfig and head over to the issues page and uh, document your issues here. Um, that's all this time. Uh, we'll get back and do a quick update video for Ubuntu next time around. Thanks, folks.